Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create clean, minimalistic titles that will get your point across. So we're going to go with this modern title style here. And I don't know what has been classified as modern. Is it just because the text is like sans serifs and completely flat? I don't know what's so wrong about, you know, Times New Roman, but basically all the modern titles that I see that are classified in this style are sans serifs fonts and they have nice contrast among all the other titles. So that's what we'll be doing in this video. Let's go to our new composition. I already have a background in here and we'll go to the textile tool and we'll type out our text and my title will be modern, right? And let me make sure that we make this all caps. So go to your character window. If you don't see the character window, go up to window character and we'll go here where it says TT. And basically if you hover over it, it'll say all caps. And basically we'll get this typeface with all caps in here. And I'm using the typeface Gotham, which is one of my favorite typefaces of all time for, you know, more clean, modern looks. And I want to set the typeface to black. So it's going to be nice and bold like this. And we can increase the size a little bit. And then we'll go to the line tab. And if you don't see the line tab, go back up to window align. And we can center these up using the vertical and uh, horizontal center alignments and this be right in the middle of our composition and that looks good and now we can create another title just click in here and we'll type in you know titles and th for this I'm going to disable the all caps and actually I'm going to do small caps and we'll make this a lowercase t as well and from here we'll come here and maybe set this down to a medium uh, weight and of course you know, if, you, if your typeface that you have doesn't have all these beautiful different weight sizes, go ahead and just experiment with, you know, a typeface that you really like and then go ahead and try to find something that's a little bit lighter. In this way, we'll create some contrast between our main title and our subtitle. Something to think about when you're creating, you know, multiple titles. And we'll come here, we'll make this title just a little bit smaller and we'll bring it right underneath our modern titles. And maybe we'll even make just make this a little bit lighter as well. Just create a little bit more contrast. And for the most part, I think this has nice contrast among the title here. We're looking good. I wanna go ahead and create that box around here and kind of put emphasis on the title. So what we can do is grab the rectangle tool and click on the word fill and make sure to set that to none and click on the word stroke and set this to uh, solid color, click okay. And I'll set the pixel to about five and we'll come over here and we'll just draw out a nice box like this and kind of get that as best as we can. And then we'll go to the line tab and make sure that this is completely centered up and we'll readjust as we see fit. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and make this a little bit thicker. Maybe we'll do like a pixel count of 10. And if we have to resize this box, don't actually like click on the vertices here because what's going to happen is if you stretch this inward, you can see that the sides get you know completely thin and that's looking terrible. So what what you would want to do if you want to resize the box, go into the rectangle one, go to rectangle path one, go to size, you know, break the chain right here, and then you can resize this and there won't be any issues uh, with any you know scaling with the edges. So that's looking okay. Um, we might need to make this a little bit thicker. Okay, and now we can go back to our titles over here and kind of center these up in here, make them look like they're in the right spot and we're looking good. So what I want to do is I want to animate the text. So let's go to like one second, maybe a little past the second here. Let's hit P on the keyboard for position, add a keyframe uh, for both titles here. And let's bring both of these keyframes back in time to maybe like, or forward in time, excuse me, to like two seconds. And let's bring the word modern off from the left side here and the word titles off to the right side. And let's make the last keyframes here easy ease keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. So they'll slow down and we'll offset the titles keyframe just by a little bit, just so it comes in a little bit after the modern title is already coming in. So that's looking good. And turn on motion blur for all your layers here. So let's go ahead and pre-compose our title layers here. So grab both the layers here, go up to layer, pre-compose, and we can call it titles and click okay. And then we want to grab the rectangle tool and we want to mask over our box here. And basically now, since we have our animation and our mask in play, it's gonna come in from the mask and it's gonna look really nice and very clean. So that's looking good. All right, so now we have to animate our shape layer here and let's turn off the mask. So we can come here and rename this to box and open up the shape layer, go to contents, go to rectangle one, and let's go to add, and let's add a trim paths to this and go to the beginning of our timeline. Let's open up trim paths one 
And let's add a keyframe for start. Move that keyframe forward by like a second and increase the start to 100%. And make these keyframes both easy ease keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And now you have this animation in here looking good. Then what I want to do is click on the word stroke at the top. And I want to set this to a linear gradient. And let's go into the gradient stroke one. And we, you can click on the word edit gradient. You can add your color. So I'm just kind of doing a light blue to a darker blue gradient in here. So just click on the color stops and you should be able to change the colors very easily. And when you're done, click OK. And since this is a linear gradient, everything's going to be pretty much evened out. But if you wanted to move this over, just play with the start and end point. And you can start you know, kind of moving things over. But I'm going to kind of keep this at its default settings here. And what I want to do is go to line cap. And I want to set this to a round cap. So basically what's happening here, so if we actually look at the tip of our line here, by going from butt cap, you see there's a straight line, and going to a round cap, it starts to kind of round out a little bit. So to me, I think that looks a little bit nicer. Now that this is basically done, let's go ahead and duplicate our box layer. And what we want to do is we want to set the uh, stroke count to two. So we have two pixels here. And let's go into the contents, go into rectangle one, go to rectangle path one, and let's increase the size just by a touch and also the Y size as well. And what I want to do is go to the word stroke at the top and I want to set this to a solid color and I want this to be white. And then we'll go back in the trim paths one. And we'll, then what we'll do is we'll add, go to like a couple of frames here. We'll add a keyframe for end, move forward past the last keyframe here for start and we'll set the end to 0%. So what's happening is now we're getting this thin line and that's looking good. Of course, make both these keyframes easy ease keyframes. And now you have this very nice thin line in here. And we can always offset this by a touch as well. So it's not completely uh, you know, consistent with our line. So maybe we'll have it like right here. And I'll rename this layer to animated line one. And I'll duplicate it by going up to edit, duplicate. We'll go back into the new animated line two, go into trim paths, and we'll increase the offset, kind of get it on the off opposite side here. So now we'll have these nice two lines in here. And that's looking good. So now what I want to do is select all of our shape layers, pre-compose it, and we'll call it, you know, box, you know, graphic. Click OK. And now we'll hit R on our keyboard for rotation, add a keyframe, and move this keyframe forward in time, and maybe increase this to like 40 degrees. And now we'll have like this very nice uh, rotation in here. And then our tiles will come on. Let's go ahead and kind of have the rotation coming on just a little bit longer than a second. Let's go ahead and make these easy ease keyframes and turn on motion blur for this layer. Now that we have our titles and our box graphic in here, I want to just create a little bit of, I guess, scaling animation. So what I want to do is go to layer new null object. And I want to parent both of these layers to the null object by grabbing the pick whip here and bring it to the null object. And we'll move forward in time just maybe to right before the title comes on. And let's go ahead and go to the null object, hit S on keyboard for scale, add a keyframe for it, move forward in time. And maybe we can set this into like 85% there. So we'll have a very subtle scale. And then we're right when the title's in here, I want to scale it back up. So add a keyframe for scale. Let's move that back a little bit and go forward a little bit and set this back up to 100%. And we'll make the center keyframes here easy ease keyframes. So it'll be a little bit of a abrupt movement at the beginning and it'll go back up. So this is gonna add us a little bit more animation to our title here and make it look kind of cool. And then of course, let's make sure to turn on motion blur for everything here and we'll turn it on at the top. And now let's go ahead and animate this out. So the fastest way that we can do this is to pre-compose our you know, three layers that we've been working with. Go up to layer, pre-compose, and we can call it full graphic. And click OK. And then what we can do is go to like, I don't know, three seconds here. Maybe like two, two and a half seconds. And we can go up to edit, split layer, delete the splitted layer, duplicate this layer, uh, bring it back all the way to the cut here. Right click the layer, click on time and time reverse layer. So now you just basically have reversed the entire animation here and it's gonna animate out automatically. So that's cool and we can go ahead and render this out.
and after a quick render this is what we have and I think we have a nice minimalistic animation in here and I hope you guys were able to take away a few techniques from this tutorial so if you guys did enjoy the video please drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more After Effects videos just like this and please be sure to check me out on my social media networks those links are in the description of the video and as always thank you so much for watching the video and I hope you have a good day.